Hello everyone, I'm Siu Kun from Shanghai Jiao Tong University School of Medicine. Welcome to the PBL Talk Show. Well, I shouldn't put the topic on the first slide, because before we move on to the case, you guys had already known that we are going to discuss atopic pregnancy. While I'm making this video, I use the Clinical Key Student, which contains numerous usable medical content, lots of books and videos and pictures and other learning resources that can help me to be better prepared for this PBL presentation. I have been using Clinical Key Students for six months, and I can say that it's a great learning platform for medical students. So let's begin. Imagine you are an ER doctor, a 17-year-old female comes into the hospital. Doctor, I've been feeling some pain from my belly for three days. I also want to foam it. It gets really bad, so I come here. At this moment, as a professional and experienced doctor, what will you do? On the right side, we can see that all these problems can cause abdominal pain. How can we help this teenage girl? At the ER, what we need to do is to identify if the patient is in a life-threatening condition. At the same time, we need to take a focused history and do a focused physical examination. Also, keep in mind that don't forget to check if the patient is pregnant or not, even if she tells you she isn't sexually active. Every woman of reproductive age with abdominal pain should undergo a pregnancy test. Abdominal pain can be caused by a variety of factors, including gynecology causes, obstetric causes, and also disease from the GI tract. If I were the ER doctor, I would first do a physical examination and XCG test. So we get back to the case. The ER doctor had taken the medical history and did a physical examination. I have two regular sex partners, and sometimes we don't use condoms. I haven't had a period for six weeks, and my period usually comes and goes normally. I also had a surgery for appendix when I was 13. Let's look at the location of atopic pregnancy. Atopic means abnormal placement or position. Atopic pregnancy means that the fetus develops in an abnormal place outside the uterus and typically in the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube has many parts including the fembrae and the ampulla. Most of the atopic pregnancy occurs within the fallopian tube. Its common sites include the ovaries, the abdominal cavity and cervix, or even the scar of caesarean section. If the atopic pregnancy occurs in the ampulla of the fallopian tube, as you see that there is not enough space, the atopic pregnancy scratches the nerve fibers within the wall of the fallopian tube and cause abdominal pain. If the wall of the ampulla is damaged, a ruptured atopic pregnancy occurs and can lead to massive hemorrhaging into the abdominal cavity. The exact cause of atopic pregnancy is unknown, but there are several risk factors including smoking, history of period atopic pregnancy, period fallopian tube surgery, infer uh, infertility treatment, and previous PID. 50% do not report any known risk factors. I want to share another classical clinical vignette. A woman with the use of intrauterine device IUD was found to be pregnant. As we know that the chance of getting pregnant while using an IUD is rare, and it turns out that the pregnancy is a topic. But in fact, researchers found out that IUD do not increase the risk of atopic pregnancy, but pregnancy that occurs with the use of an IUD is much more likely to be atopic than intrauterine. Do you still remember the clinical presentation of that patient? If a patient presented with low abdominal pain and positive pregnancy test, just treat it as an atopic pregnancy until proven otherwise. It is possible to be asymptomatic in early stages. And you might ask why? Well, typically for an atopic pregnancy in the fallopian tube, 
pressure increases as the tube scratches around six to eight weeks in the pregnancy. But if the ectopic pregnancy occurs in a place where a lot of space for the embryo to grow, pain and breathing may not occur until several weeks later. HCG is a hormone of pregnancy and is used to see if a woman is pregnant or not and to monitor pregnancy in the early stage. It is important to take serial beta HCG for every 40 hours. In normal pregnancy, when HCG value meets a certain point, an ultrasonic image of intrauterine pregnancy can also be detected. If HCG exceeds 2000 and no signs of intrauterine pregnancy is detected, suggests an ectopic pregnancy. A comprehensive ultrasonic exam should be performed if the patient is stable. I know it is hard to interpret an ultrasound, but we can try. First of all, there will be no yolk sac or fetal pole in the uterus, so we call it empty uterus. And we will find the yolk sac or the fetal pole in the tube. Here is an ultrasound image of ectopic pregnancy, and I find it on the clinical key student. Can you identify the uterus, the yolk sac, and a fetal pole in the ultrasound image. The treatment of atopic pregnancy depends on the condition of the patient. If the patient is clinically stable, asymptomatic, then we can wait. If there were signs of deterioration, medical treatment or surgical treatment may be needed. Methotrexate is used as the first line medical treatment. Methotrexate is a type of chemotherapy agent inhibiting rapidly dividing cells. The fertilized egg is rapidly dividing, so it makes sense. After using methotrexate, we need to check the beta XCG. If the beta XCG falls less than 15%, we need to repeat methotrexate. Surgical treatment is usually done in emergency, especially in a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. It includes lapinrotomy and salpingectomy of the involved fallopian tube. In hemodynamically stable patients, salpingectomy and salpingotomy can be used. A salpingectomy is a removal of the, of the fallopian tube, while salpingotomy is a removal of the ectopic pregnancy via an incision within the fallopian tube. Back to the case when a patient comes into the hospital and tells you she is suffering from abdominal pain. You may have to gather information for a sexual history. What should you ask? How can you make the patient trust you and tell you what you want? The setting is very important. The conversation should be private and should be confidential. Ask for the presenting problem first before moving to more sensitive questions and don't ask silly questions. How a topic pregnancy is diagnosed and managed can be put into this algorithm and hope that you enjoy my PBL case sharing. If you have any question about a topic pregnancy, send email to me and we can have a further discussion. Thank you.